afternoon. I'm Dave Meyer. I'm a citizen here in the state and a concerned parent. I am uh, against LB 647 and 648. Uh, my, my premises are twofold. I, I completely agree with uh, the aspect here that we need to do what's best for the children. I mean, they don't have a voice. They clearly um, are one of our most vulnerable aspects of society. And they've come from a situation that's already in a stressful condition in their family environment. And so I'm suggesting that we need to consider what is best for the child, similar to the prior gentleman's uh, thought there. You know, part of this gets into legislating morality. I don't want to go there. But on a, just a simple biological fact, I think we all are here only because of one sperm and one egg. And I don't think there's any gender, you know, identity or sexual orientation discussion across any other part of the animal kingdom. We're only presenting that here, in this case, for parenthood, for, for those of us that are in the human race. And so I, I just find that precedent rather interesting. But I want to go to, you know, there's been studies that have been attested to that studies find that there's no difference in family structure on the outcome of the children. There was a study done by Professor Mark Regneris in Texas back in 2012, is when he completed it, that involved over 3,000 adult children from eight different family structures. And I agree with the senator here. There can be success in any family structure. But let's look at what the facts were. The greatest negative outcomes of that study were found among children of same-sex parents. Rignaris' study showed that negative outcomes for these children, the adult children, so they studied them well into adulthood, 25 of 40 categories included far higher rates of sexual assault, 23% of the children were sexually assaulted versus 2% of heterosexual parenthood families. There was poor physical health, increased depression, and so forth. But another one from a taxpayer standpoint higher unemployment. 69% of same-sex household children grew up in an environment of unemployment compared to 17% um, of the married parents. And by, by unemployment, I mean on welfare. So you're putting an additional burden on the state besides creating mixed messages for the child that doesn't really know what their identity is because they can't speak for themselves. So I'm advocating on behalf of what is best for one of our least protected, most vulnerable classes of society that are already in an at-risk situation, is you give them the opportunity for best success in the family structure that you place them. And thus, I'm against this particular legislation. Thank you. Any further questions? Yes. Senator Marshall. So you just cited some facts here, and I'd love to, I'd love to see your study. Um, I'd be glad to send it to you, sir. Absolutely. Um, what do you think is, why do you think that they're more unemployed? More of those, more of those kids, because their parents are homosexual. You know, I, I misstated when I used the word unemployed. It's actually they were on welfare was the issue. They were on government support. And why do you think that is? Uh, I don't know. I, I can't attest to that. I'm only discussing, I'm stating the outcome that was there. So if they're... So let me ask you this question. Um, do you think that there is a gay couple that could be better parents than a heterosexual couple? Well, I think on an individual circumstance, certainly that could happen. And, and I'm, took, I'm just look. All I'm stating here is the results of a study that looked at eight different family structures, and the outcome in the aggregate were the results that I stated. And I'll be more than happy to send it. I'll, I'll email it to everyone here on the on the uh, judicial committee as soon as I sit down. But um, that again, there's there's always exceptions to every situation, and you know, you've obviously proven success in the family structure that you were grown, you know, that you were raised in, and you've worked through whatever those challenges were. I applaud you for that. I'm just simply trying to state the norm where you hear everyone else comment that all these studies claim that there isn't a difference. Well, if you look at the detail of many of those studies, and I'm not a psychologist, okay, but I've read some of these things. 
They said when they were comparing apples to apples, they weren't apples to apples. They were comparing all these structures to single parenthood families. They, not, they were not comparing the results to heterosexual married um, natural family structures. And when that was introduced into this study by Professor Regneris, that's where the results came out the way they were. That is clearly the strongest, on average, parental structure design. And since we've got children at risk, I think that's the one we need to advocate. So a follow-up question, uh, back to my original question. Yes. Um, you noted that there could be a gay couple that is perhaps better parents than a heterosexual couple. So we know we've got one second. I just want to finish my question, sir. Um, so isn't foster parents currently are they currently determined whether or not they're fit foster parents on a case by case basis? I don't know the specifics of that, but that's my understanding. Yes, they are there. Um, so couldn't we determine whether or not? using the same standards that we use for heterosexual couples, that homosexual couples are also fit parents. What I would conclude out of that, you know, you've got a set of criteria that obviously need to be followed, and everybody needs to meet those criteria. So I'm given that all those criteria have been met, okay? You're not going to pass through someone that doesn't meet the criteria to be a good parent. All I'm simply saying is, beyond that, now that being stated, this study is suggesting the best structure on a national level from these 3,000 families that were studied is it concluded that the heterosexual natural family structure won out across many different, 40 different classific uh, categories they studied. And the same-sex um, households where both parents were of the same sex, they actually had the worst outcomes, and those are the ones I stated. So be interested in reading your material. Senator, I still just have one statement to make. Okay. Um, you know, I, I was looking up your study online here while you were talking, mm -hmm. and it actually, the study doesn't have anything to, it wasn't specifically looking at gay parenting. So well, I, I'm certainly... I studied all eight, but the outcome of that, I mean, he went in there with a completely wide open perspective, but the results is what I, I was stating for you. I can get you a copy of the study if you, you have access there. It's 19 pages, but... I'm just giving you the summary results. Thank, Thank you, sir. Any further questions? Thank you.